Jungle Explorer here and I'm just going to go across the settings with the, of this camera. This is the Agitato trail camera or Agitato, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and I did a review on this uh, not too long ago. It's on my, on my channel. I'll throw a link up here in the corner. Right there it'll show up and you can click on that and you can go to uh, the the video review of this trail cam right here but several people have been commenting over the last uh, several months about not knowing how to adjust the settings on these cameras now for me because I actually do a lot of uh, trail cameras I am kinda used to their menu systems and I don't really need to even read the instructions but I, I can understand that some people that are not familiar with these trail cameras and uh, you know just for the, their first timers they may find it a little bit uh, difficult or or need a little instruction so I'm just gonna run through the settings really quick with you as fast as possible to kinda give you an idea of what they mean and how to set it up okay so let's go okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set it on and it has on off on and set we're gonna move it to the set position um, and that will allow us to get into the menu obviously the menu buttons right here so we'll click on that and let me try to get this in a a mode where you can read it there's a little bit of reflection from my studio lights here so hopefully you can read it right there okay uh, so we can see that the first thing is mode now you press the OK button it's got a big huge OK button and it's going to go to motion detection or time lapse we're going to leave it on motion detection but if you were going to do a time lapse video you could set it to time lapse so just click ok to go back it's going to ask you whether you want to shoot photo or video you can choose between video or photo there is no uh, combination photo and video option on this camera so we'll just set it to video and go back okay photo quality um, this is a 20 megapixel camera so we, we you can choose between all of these settings here uh, you can go to 16 megapixel I can't really tell the difference between the 16 megapixel and the 20 megapixel honestly uh, but uh, I'm sure there is there but as far as optical clarity and it seems pretty be, to be pretty much the same okay so so burst this is how many pictures it's going to take if it's set to picture so uh, you know you can set it to take one picture two pictures all the way up to five pictures so um, that means when an animal walks in front of it that it's going to take either one or up to five pictures when the 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 camera detects motion okay so we'll set it to one and right, now we'll go back to video quality video quality uh, 1080p or uh, 720p okay um, so you have two options there. It's on 1080p. I like that. So let's stay stay there Okay, the next one here is video length Okay, so you can set it to um, Let's see it's set to 30 seconds now It jumps in five second increments Okay, so five minutes is your longest video time to record and it goes all the way down to three seconds is your minimum there okay so five minutes to three seconds let's go ahead and just set it up here to 20 seconds and go there now video sound if you want the internal microphone which it does have a microphone to be on and record sound uh, that'll work it that's kinda good for security footage animals don't make a whole lot of sound so it really doesn't matter when it's in the if you're using it for animals but maybe in a security situation you know you you would use it for that okay next one is detection delay now this is the interval in between the time that it's going to take pictures say that something goes in front of the camera activates the camera it takes pictures or videos um, and then there's going to be a delay before it will actually reactivate and sense uh, uh, motion again and take some more pictures and so you can set this uh, let's see here Uh, from five seconds or zero seconds actually zero sec seconds to one hour so that's your maximum time is from basically no no delay at all it'll just immediately take another picture or uh, you know it'll 
you can set it up to one hour delay before it'll take another picture. 10 minutes is good, it's kind of what I prefer, so I'll leave it there. All right, the sensor, this is the sensitivity of the sensor. You have three settings, high, medium, low. This is very dependent on the location where you put the camera. If it's a very clear location, let's say a parking lot, then I would set it to high. If you're in a location that has a lot of trees or something that flags or bushes that are going to be moving in the wind, then you might want to set it on a lower setting such as medium or low. But you're just going to have to test it out in the location to see which is the setting that is right for you because uh, it's totally location dependent. But we'll leave it on high for now. Okay, side motion sensors. The camera has the side motion sensors here. Okay, my camera's not wanting to focus very well here. Okay, and what these things do, these are pre-sensors. Essentially, as something's coming in from the side, it detects them and it, it, act, it basically prepares the camera. This is the main sensor. This is the one that's gonna activate the camera and, and take the pictures or videos. These kind of basically wake the camera up and say, hey, something's about to come in the field of view. So it, it has a, a shorter, um, it basically a much faster detection time so that it, it will capture the animal. So these do not activate the camera. They just get the camera in uh, basically awake so that it will go off when something is detected by the sensor. So it reduces the uh, lag there. So that's pretty good function. Okay, so you can set that to on or off, depends on how you want to set it on or off. I always leave it on. Okay, so the next one here is a motion test, which is a function that where you can test the camera and see if it's working. There's not really a setting, it's just basically a test. Time-lapse interval. So if you set the camera in the, in the first menu option is the mode, you can go to time-lapse. If you set it to time-lapse, then here you can use this to set the interval. It can be one hour or down to one second. It just depends on how long you want to you wanna use it for. So this is the interval and uh, when the time-lapse option is activated, it, it will not sense motion. It will simply take a picture on a or a video at a given interval okay so we'll just go back there and you have your date and time date and time is pretty straightforward just use the arrows in the OK button uh, to set those up okay so we'll just go out of there uh, format the date format you know this can be uh, for different countries they format their dates a little differently here in the United States we use month, day, and year. Some places use year, month, and day, and some places use day, month, and year. So you choose the date format that you like. Okay, um, time format. You, this one has the option for the 12 hour or 24 hour, or as I have always called it, military time, uh, you know, which is 24 hour. I. Okay, so this is the camera name here. If you want to name your camera, uh, the only purpose I can see of this is if you had multiple cameras that you were collecting images from and you were putting them in one place and you wanted to keep them separate by naming the camera it came from, then you could actually type in a custom name right here uh, and that would be imprinted on the photo, the camera that it came from. I don't use this uh, function, but people, some people have dozens of cameras out and they need to know the camera the picture came from. Okay. This info strip is basically the time and date information that's going to be printed on the photo that you can see. I'm not talking about the metadata of the photo, but it'll actually be uh, basically printed on the photo so that you will see the date and time that the picture was taken. Uh, I always leave that on because I'm tracking animals and I want to see when the animal was moving. Okay, loop recording. Loop recording is essentially a card a, a, the SD card may get filled up uh, if you leave it out and fill for a long time and it fills the whole card up if you set it to loop recording it will begin overriding the very first images and videos on there because it ran out of space if you leave it off once the card fills up it will stop recording and you'll ha and it won't record any more pictures or videos until you empty the card up so it just depends on how you want to use that that's what loop recording is Hours of operation. Hours of operation, basically you can tell the camera when you want the camera to start. 
and uh, basically say you want the camera to start at 10 o'clock at night and only be active from 10, 10 p.m. till 6, 6 a.m. in the morning okay you can set those times and and the camera will only function during those times and the rest of the time it will be in stand standby mode won't be using much energy and it will not take pictures at all if anything happens outside of those hours okay get back to the menu we'll set that off to off okay password now the password is basically a protection for the camera uh, if you don't want anybody messing with the settings and changing the settings uh, you can use it, a password to protect the camera so that whenever you try to go to the menu um, you'll have to enter that password to actually access the menu but also if somebody steals the camera and they don't have the, the password the camera basically becomes useless to them because they cannot change anything or operate the camera without the password um, it doesn't actually prevent people from stealing the camera. It just prevents the thief from using the camera if they steal it. Uh, but if you do set the password, you need to write it down and not forget it because there is no way to reset these cameras once you set that password. If you forget that password, the camera is as useless to you as it is to a thief. So don't forget it. Format SD card. Now this is an important stage that a lot of people skip. I want to talk to you for a second about SD cards and these game cameras. A lot of people comment on my game camera reviews and complain about certain glitches with the video. And I would say nine, time out, nine times out of ten, those problems are down to the quality of the SD card they're using. HD video re takes a lot, it requires a lot of data, and it has to be written very quickly to record all that data. So. Um, people that use cheaper budget or knockoff SD cards or slower SD cards, uh, they, they tend to have a lot of problems with the cameras. Uh, you need to use a good quality card with the camera, at least a class 10 if you're going to use it to record video. Now me personally, I use the Samsung Evo Pro Endurance cards. These are really high uh, special cards that are made to be recorded to over and over and over and over again. So you might use them, say, in a, in a dash cam or in a game cam because they're constantly being written to and rewritten to and they last. These things have come down in price recently and they, they, they have a very fast write speed. They can write HD video with no lag or anything. Um, and you can get these for under $10 for a 30, 32 gigabyte off Amazon.com. Um, and I highly recommend them. Uh, but use something good when in these cameras and you'll have less problems with the video recording of them, okay? <coughs> but it's also important to format the card in the camera. Uh, you want to put it in the camera and format the card. Do not format it on your computer and put it in the camera. Format the card in the camera and that will have the proper format and you'll have less problems with it, okay? factory reset just basically resets all the settings back to the way it came from the factory and uh, you have your software version which tells you what the firmware of the camera is in case an update comes out and you're wondering if your if, if your camera is already has that firmware version or do you need to update it you can look here and find that information and then we're back to mode and that is how you program the settings on this camera I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have and found it helpful, please like, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.